Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technology Mafia, and today I'm reviewing a lens from Mikey. They were gracious enough to send this lens out to me for review. This is the Mikey 8mm f3.5 fisheye lens. Now, I did review in the past, a couple of months ago, a 6.5mm circular fisheye lens, which I thought was a pretty fun lens to use. This one is more like a regular fisheye, so it won't be a complete circle. So I'm definitely excited to see what sort of images this lens will produce. So let's check out what comes in the box. All right, so here is the box that this lens comes in. And as typical of Mikey uh, packaging, it has a nice picture on the front of the lens itself. This is an 8mm f3.5. It says full frame and APS-C. So I'm guessing it should work for full frame Sony mount E-mount cameras as well. Around the back you have another picture. Same info. Here's some specifications for the lens if you are interested. Uh, and let's go ahead and open this up. So right away you get a little uh, rain jacket material type carrying pouch, which is nice. Microfiber cloth, a product guarantee card, and the lens is right here. All right, a bit larger than I expected. Has kind of this long extension tube looking thing. Uh, wow, and this lens cap is huge check out that lens cap it's plastic has two little buttons all right and here is the fisheye lens so as you can tell there is a very large dome take that off Here's another shot of the dome for you has a red stripe around it similar to Canon L lenses so we have 8mm, 3.5, fisheye CS. We have an aperture right here, which is not declicked, has distinct clicks from 3.5 all the way to f22. And you have a focusing ring, has feet and meters, infinity, all the way to 0.3 or 0.1 of a meter. So it means you can get very, very close to your subject and probably get some cool shots. Pinkish, purple, around the edges it's almost yellow and in the center there's some greens and oranges. Quite interesting. Definitely don't want to get the dome dirty. That's probably why they included the microfiber cloth. Around the back, I've never seen the rear of a lens look like this. As you can tell, there's a metal mount. There are no electronic connections because this lens is manual only focus. So no automatic focus. And you can see the aperture blades down in there. Overall, it is quite front heavy as you would imagine because the bulk of the weight is in the glass elements that are all, all the way forward really in this barrel. The back of the barrel is pretty light. So excited to try this out, to put it on my A6000 and see what sort of pictures this little lens, actually not that little, this medium sized lens produces. So let's check out what you can do with this lens. I have taken a few sample pictures and a couple of quick video bites as well. So overall, I like this lens a lot. It's kind of a fun lens to use because 
you get to get really close to your subject. So in the couple of shots that I showed you that were portraits of my wife, I was actually very, very close to her, maybe a foot away from her when I was taking those shots. So this lens forces you to move a lot closer to your subject, which is kind of fun. And you do get a lot in the frame, which is pretty amazing as well. Uh, I found that the focusing ring was pretty easy to use. However, when you are shooting with an ultra wide angle or a fisheye lens such as this one, most of the frame is in focus anyway. So I found that I didn't really mess with focus. I kind of left it alone for the majority of the shots that I was taking, which is nice if you don't want to mess around with manual focus. The only minor gripe I have with this lens is that the lens hood on occasion gets into the shots. I found that if you put it on tightly and you position it correctly, it shouldn't show up in your images. But just FYI for those of you who are going to buy this lens, if you see that in the corners, make sure that you adjust your lens hood and it clicks into place. As far as sharpness is concerned, the lens is decently sharp. It's not amazingly sharp by any stretch of the imagination. You're not gonna get some super sharp focus in the corners with this lens. It's more a fun lens that you can use to get some creative shots here and there. It's not something that I would recommend if you're out there just doing landscape photography, for example, or if you're doing something professional, I would probably stick with an ultra wide angle lens such as a 12 millimeter. For me, the Rokinon Mikey has one as well. Uh, but this is a fun lens to add to your collection if you want something that is super wide at 8 millimeter and gives you that barrel distortion that you saw in the video footage as well. Definitely a cool one to check out. I will post an Amazon link down below if you're interested. If you do end up purchasing this lens through that link down below, it helps support the channel. So thank you guys for all the support. If you guys have any questions about this lens, comment down below. If you have any experience using it, also comment down below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the likes and all the support and stay tuned for future videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.